Good evening or morning or whatevering. Uh, I'm saying good evening because it's very late, to say the least, in the Stardew for us to start, uh, especially compared to normal. Um, we are starting late because, well, it's Spirit's Eve. Uh, during the day today, I just reorganized a couple of things. I put down some fences. I beautified a couple of things, getting things ready for the next step. Uh, sadly, I was unable to get my watering can due to the Spirits Eve Festival. And I don't think Robin worked today either on our coop. So a little bit delayed, all things considered. But with the Spirits Eve Festival, we are in good shape for the future. And it is pretty much that time coming up on 10 p.m. So without further ado, you know what? Let's just uh, knock these guys off while we're at it, I guess. Get a little bit of a foraging level. Um, Spirit's Eve is always a fantastic one to basically work on the farm is what I've always experienced. Um, just a great day. You spend all day pretty much on the farm and then you head on over to the Spirits Eve Festival and you get yourself through it with beautiful tunes and everything. Hello. I got too scared. That sounds about right, Harvey. That sounds about right. What's up, Maru? I've already been this way. I'm lost. Indeed you are. You're going the wrong direction. We're going to blitz our way through this a little bit. I know it's so much fun, but... Uh, this is not the right way, but I have to go see Penny. Hi. How's it going? Chicken house. Can't go wrong. Georgia Mart warehouse. Very good. Let's uh, head on up through the maze. Oops. Went the wrong way for a second there. What's up, Alex? There's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? There's got to be a secret passage around here somewhere. Indeed. Abigail. I can't go on. Spider. Oh, no. Yeah. Always fun with the Spirits Eve Festival. Um, I do enjoy it quite a bit. I think that there's a lot of fun. It's just a dead end. I could have sworn there was someone ahead of me. Oh, boy. Yep. Secret passage for the win. There we go. And up and over. Do, 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 do. Hi, wizard. Hi, Linus. How's it going? I don't think you can actually talk to them though if i recall and voila the golden pumpkin very nice great find to say the least i don't think that there's can you like get out of here quickly what's in here take the secret shortcut back yes please let's go very nice indeed what's up marlin how's it going sebastian we got the skeletons out on patrol uh, which is always interesting. Like I said, there's a lot of folks to chat with every time at these festivals. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and away we go. So we're uh, pretty darn close. It's quite spooky. Strange man who lives up in the, the wizard. Brasmodius. Um, other than that, we're just going to chat with a few folks here and get ourselves through this beautiful little festival what did we get uh we get a rare crow we get the jack-o-lantern recipe we get the gravestone a funky rug because why not and um you know what let's buy all of those too because we can all right this is one of those unique festivals there is nothing to do otherwise we can just leave just head on home uh, for the end of the festival. The festival will end. Excellent. Like I said, it is a very good festival, all things considered. It's a fun one, but it's also pretty short. <laughs> so uh, that's all right. Let's store our jack-o'-lanterns. And in the meantime, we have a rare crow, which is pretty darn awesome. I would like to uh, put you down right there. Beautiful. Nailed it. I love the ambiance. It's so good. In the meantime as well, let's just throw down a gravestone right there. And in terms of the funky rug, 
Yeah, I don't really have a good spot for the funky rug, to say the least. Um, perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> no, not quite. Um, yeah, we'll just put it down there for right now. But uh, yeah, other than that, it is bedtime. So let's go to sleep and let's get prepared for the next day. Again, didn't really sell much, didn't really get into too much trouble. We are in the last day of fall now, and it is raining. So, pretty darn cool, if you ask me. A good sit by the fire, warm up those bones a little bit. Ah, good day to curl up with a book. Agreed, Penny. Agreed. But, we have a queen of the sauce to deal with. And speaking of which, let's actually, uh... How do we... There we go nailed it uh let's put our bed in the kitchen now uh just to free up a little bit of space going through we got an artichoke dip recipe very nice very good to have all right without further ado uh we got a last day harvest of the cranberries or at least the majority of them here and i think also the grapes right so not too shabby. We'll get a little bit of extra last-ditch fall funds uh, to come our way. And, uh, yeah, then we got to start preparing what's in store for us right away for winter. Because, yeah, that's, that's the next big hurdle here. Um, all things considered, uh, let's get our animals fed first and foremost, and milk and all that kind of stuff. Hello? 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 Very good. Hi. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Very good. Give me your milk. That's much appreciated. Excellent. Don't mind me. Yeah, just the farmer. It's fine. Boom and boom. Okay. So, with them fed, we already got a silver milk. That's awesome. Uh, I should probably be selling a milk at some point in time, but we will uh, get there in due course. Um, I'm going to do the full circle because that's what we've been doing. And uh, we'll come back as soon as I'm done that. All right. The rounds have been done. What all did we get? That's a good question. All right. The grapes, I think I'm going to sell off. Uh, we'll sell off the high-end cranberries as well, the mayonnaise. I did get a dried purple mushroom, which I wanted to anyways. Uh, we got that. We need to save our beets because, well, we need to save our beets because I only grew 10 of them, which is probably actually a mistake. I'm not going to lie about it, but uh, yeah, probably not the best strategy, but uh all things considered, I think we have them all, which is good, wherever I put them. Uh-oh. Where did I put my beets? Are they up here? Where are my beets? Hello? Am I blind? Yeah, I'm blind. It's fine. All right, 10 beets we do have. That's good. We could turn these in to uh, Lewis's fridge, which will be very good. And then also, I would like to... Uh, get myself started with uh, a few more coffees, I think, because we are kind of at that point where we can start spamming a little bit more in the coffee territory as we go. I should probably actually get the keg down near where we are actually producing the coffee. We got some fairy rose honey as well. That's good. We have some caviar and jelly. That's not a bad thing either. And we did actually have a quest from our sturgeons, which I don't think we have. Yeah, I think I got rid of all of the Omni Geodes, sadly, and they are requesting one. So that's a bit of a mistake on my end. All right. Um, on that note... I think we are good to pretty much go. Everything's been done around here. It took a little bit too long, I'm not going to lie. Oh, did you find your wife? What do we got here? Hi. Hungry. Need fruit. Dried cactus fruits and crystal fruit jelly. Oh, boy. Dried cactus fruits. Do I have to, like... 
make cactus and then dry them. I don't think I've ever made that item. So, yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Um, all right. Well, uh, definitely not a thing that I've ever made before. So, good to know. Um, I think otherwise, we are good to head on over to Clint's dried cactus fruit. I didn't even know you can make that. I didn't even know that. All right. So, dried cactus fruits and crystal fruit jelly all right i mean we'll get it done we'll find a way don't get me wrong it's sunday as well so we can also get a new special request tomorrow which is good uh, looks like we're gonna salvage one last blackberry as well that's nice and let's head on in let's get our steel watering can thank you very much clint but more importantly we are going to process this one geode that we got because we're here. And uh, more importantly, we're going to upgrade to an Iridium pickaxe. Bye bye half my money at the end of fall. But you know what? It's going to be worth it in the long run. For sure. For sure. For sure. All right. Sadly, uh, no, um, no nothing till tomorrow for the things like that. Abby, I think I'll, I think I have a large enough bass. We can probably get that accommodated. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's really kind of sort of about all that we can get done here today um, with the rain and such. So, uh, I think I'm going to plan on hitting both of those, getting some experience. And... Yeah, Robin's working. We're going to get our pickaxe upgrade in a couple of days. I think it's just preparing the farm a little bit more. Um, as bad as it sounds, I think that's it. That's all. So, yeah, I'm going to chop down a couple of trees as well, I think. I accidentally clicked on, I think, a pop-up notification. So, that's why I was frozen there. But, yeah, I think it's a uh, forage fishing. Oh, actually fishing. That's what we should really be doing. It's raining, so that gives us the opportunity to catch catfish again that have a very nice return on investment. So, without further ado, I'm... Oh, I forgot to do... Lewis's, uh... Forgot to do Lewis's uh, fridge, didn't I? All right, we have to go back. We have to get uh, Lewis's fridge situated. So I'll do that, and then... We'll go fishing. I might as well bring my fishing rod while I'm at it, right? That would be smart. S-M-R-T. Very nice. All right. Lewis's fridge. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec. There's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Give the sand dragon last meal. All right. We're almost actually done with this quest, which is great. Uh, it's not very complicated when you know everything that you want to get done with it, but, uh, yeah, very good overall. Um, in terms of the rest of today, it's a fishing. I'm going fishing. Um, we're going to fish right here. We're going to catch some catfish and things like that. And I'll see you all, uh, probably at the end of fall here. I don't think there's really much else that we can really do and get prepared for otherwise so we'll just fish away easy one love it good start thank you for a nice easy catch well after a soggy evening of fishing it is time to head on home i'm basically at the exhausted state so i think this is a pretty good time to say the least um, we did catch a few things, which is good. Um, as you can see, we got some more row. We got some, some various items that we can utilize. Um, we'll save a couple of the breams. As you can see, we got a shad. Um, we got like eight catfish, which is pretty darn awesome as well. And I wouldn't mind, um, firing them through the system, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let's pull out a couple of things. I do need that bass, and I do want those. I did accept a quest from um, 
or Abigail for a largemouth bass. So uh, that one's important as well. Uh, these glass shards I don't need. Why do I have it? I don't need them. It's fine. All right. Otherwise, let's jump on. Um, hmm. Is there a good way to do this? Not really, right? Let's throw in a catfish, though. We'll get that smoking. And uh, let's head down to our shipping bin. And we'll ship the shad, bullhead, bream, chub, and walleye. And then the row, I think... Do both of these become caviar? No. That's just saying row. I'm not... Do they all become caviar? I actually don't know. But either way, we'll throw those in there. We'll get some of that row going, I guess. Um, I should probably make more preserve jars. I think I ran into this last time, but it's a lot of coal. And I think for right now, I would like to keep a lot of my coal because if I'm crazy enough, like I'm about to be right now, we're going to kind of sort of automate our smoker here as well. So the catfish are going to go in there. And then I'm just going to add in the amount of coal that I require to get them done. Right? Like so. So that should be pretty good. Um, other than that, I think that is that. We are pretty much done for fall. Um, we're out of energy. I got the largemouth bass for Abigail tomorrow. Obviously, I know what we need to do. I think. I think. We might as well get that powder melon on our bar. I'm not sure what else I can really plant come winter. I don't think I have like winter seeds or anything like that, but let's give it a quick double check. I don't think so. Um, I can probably make some, I would think, but I don't have any at this point in time. So uh, that leads us into what to do next, right? I don't know why I'm keeping all this fiddlehead fern, too, but... And all this corn? Like, you got a lot of stuff, man. All right. Anyways, I think that's a good time to end for today. Let's go to bed with Penny this time. Not in my own bed over yonder. We'll go to sleep. Penny's just got, like, a bookshelf. Her, her area's a little bit basic. I'm not going to lie, but uh, there we go. End of fall. That's a pretty good return. I'll take that. That's a very nice end. That fairy rose honey every time is so good. Um, I probably should have plucked those last couple fairy roses, but that's okay. You know, you win some, you lose some, right? We have Krobus's birthday. Oh my lord. Uh, time to unwind a little bit. Yeah, right. Winter's the busy season. What are you talking about? Thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. In addition to double the capacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. Thank you, Robin. Much appreciated. Um, no, bad, bad. All right. Um, let's get our dinosaur uh, egg started to incubate because that is very, very important to say the least. Um, other than that, we have to get our snow melons, powder melon thingies down. And sadly, we have to feed every day the cows and the chickens manually. Yeah. We're not at that stage that we can just be like, oh, we're good to go. Auto feeders for all. No, we're not there. So, yeah, we got we to gotta do what we got to do. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to do a quick little round. Again, I don't have any Omni Geodes, so that's going to be at a bit of a sticking point for a period of time here. Um, I haven't put the recycler down there, but for our chickens down here, hello, how's it going? We do have something for you. Incubate. Okay, 11 or so days, we should uh, be prepared with a new um, animal in the barn. I love it. All right. In the meantime, no, do not eat the large egg. 
Thank you. All right. In the meantime, let's drop off all of that wonderful stuff. And let's complete our circular round of the farm. Yes, I somewhat did this somewhat on purpose. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get our dried common. Very nice. Continual income is ultimately why I did this way. We're going to ship that and that. Very good. In here, we have a harvest of fairy roses, which is going to be fantastic. We'll grab these guys out. And uh, yeah, I probably should have bought more seeds, but I do have the seed maker. So I think it might be a good strategy to uh, probably get myself situated with the uh, seed maker or seed yeah, seed maker. Yeah, that's the word. What am I what am I talking about? Uh, can I remove these? Yes. Okay, good. I was a little worried there for a second. All right, this guy can go. Sadly, this has to stay. This guy can come on over and we'll place that down to kind of complete this loop. Very good. And we'll hoe out these areas. And then we will water these areas so that we are prepared for the next harvest. Now, I think we can actually get rid of this guy as well, and we can hoe and water that. Okay, so yeah, that'll get watered all the way up to here. I believe we'll get watered. So, uh, yes. Yes, that's correct. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to throw down that guy there, and I don't know. I guess there. For right now, I'd like to keep this going to the best of my ability, but it's looking a little bit questionable. So uh, we need to get ourselves, what, five and five, ten more coffee beans. Let's get those down on the ground. And I think we need to get making some seeds as well. Now, these guys are not going to do anything during winter at all. So that's not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, let's add in all of those. That's a lot of fairy rose, right? That's a lot of money, all things considered. So that's good. Um, in the meantime, as well, I'm going to remove all of these, like so. And we are going to rebuild. Yes, it is time to build, right? It's winter. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right. Very good. All of that is up. I think as well, there's a scarecrow back here. Yes, it's a rare crow even. All right, cool. We have all of the tools that we need to get this party started. So I'm going to um, more or less get it started, I guess, right? Uh, we got to hoe some things. We got to get a few different things done. It's a triple shot espresso kind of day. And I did actually want to run in to town and see about a couple of things. So one of the first things we need to see, though, is what does Krobus love? Krobus loves diamond, wild horseradish. Okay. Do I have a wild horseradish? I do. Excellent. Let's take Krobus a gift and let's go swing by Joja. Oh, speaking of Krobus, right there. The mysterious one. I see you. I see you. Hello? Question mark? Look at all the worms. I love it. Let's get them all uh, while we're at it. It's probably going to be a lot of snow yams and, you know, uh, powder melons and whatnot, but I'm all for it. There's usually a lot of worms come wintertime, so that's good. All right. Uh, winter mystery. Find the shadowy figure. Indeed. So you follow these footprints... Right? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. There's footprints, there's footprints, there's footprints. All the way up to that bush. Hi. Eep, you got me. I'm sorry. Take it, take it. Look so valuable. There we go. We got ourselves the magnifying glass. Excellent. That allows us to get some secret notes as well, which are always a wonderful thing. Very good, very good. Um, very straightforward as well, right? Keep that in mind. All right, uh, without further ado, we're going to go see Krobus first, 
Oh, it's also a Monday, so we can also get into our special requests. Uh, so, uh, boom. Enjoy the wonderful gift, Krobus. Uh, you do slime on this day? Oh, the star drop. I mean... I mean... Wizard catalog. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's all this? This is awesome. A wicked statue. I think that's fine. But the star drop, right? I need to buy that. Yeah. Okay. We got... We. I mean, it's a star drop. <laughs> I can't... I can't lose out on a star drop, right? Like... I mean, we got to get our espresso, you know? It's our espresso. All right. Um. So that's good. I'm going to buy the crystal four and I guess the recipe for the wicked statue while I'm here. Because, yeah, why not? So that should actually give us a nice boost with uh, Krobus. Yeah, look at that. Right up to almost four hearts. That's very good. Very good. All right. Worth. 100% worth. Um. Let's swing by the special board. What did we get? Here's prime produce. Uh, no. Biome balance. Ocean fish. Sure. We can do some fishing. I'm good with that. Uh, let's jump on up to go see... Joja. Oh, boy. Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. All right, let's pop in here. What do we have for sale? Nothing. We got nothing. All right, that's what I figured, but, uh, you know, just thought I'd confirm. I don't think Pierre has anything extra either, but, uh, you know, might as well double check. Might as well double check while we're out and about. Was there any quests? No. Abigail, where are you at? Abigail is up there. Okay. We'll come and see Abigail as well. I think that will be a good uh, go. Um, other than that, yeah, you don't really have, I mean, the dehydrator's nice and all, but I think we're good. I think we're good for right now. We're a little bit low on funds, even though we don't have much left to buy. It is uh, a little bit on the low side. So, let's go find Abigail, because I have the largemouth bass for her. I don't. I accidentally stored it. So, um, on that note, let's get some more powder melons. It's good. And we got some more worms here. Might as well collect all of that. I also need to get myself a crystal fruit. Uh, so, that's a concern. Actually, I might have one. Don't I have one? I might have a crystal fruit. Let's see. All right, let's put that away. Um, those, no big deal. Uh, do I have a crystal fruit from the mines? Somewhere? I don't know if I do. It's not looking very likely. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, not seeming overly likely at the moment. So... Oh, baby, let's grab that catfish. That'll be a nice sale. I guess we don't need this scarecrow either up here right now. So that'll be good. Uh, let's sell those. Sell those. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah, I don't think I need to keep them around, to be honest. Okay. Well, um, on that note, I need to grab that largemouth bass because I accidentally put that away. There we go. Good. And biome balance, yeah, we need to basically do all of that. Abigail's still up there, so I'm going to go uh, go see her. All right, Abigail, wait, wait, wait. I got your bass. Perfect. Excellent. Well, fall is over. Indeed. All right, good. We got that done. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, other than that... I think that's it. I think we're done. You know, I think that's, I think that's all of it. You know, there's going to be some chopping. There's going to be some fishing. And, uh, I do also, we're going to finish a lot of things around here. So, uh, I guess the first step is let's go, uh, with our hoeing and planting, right? Boom, we get the five. That's very nice. And uh, 
yeah, these are going to be very beneficial uh, for us. So uh, all of this good. We also have the steel watering can, so we get five in that as well for watering. Okay. Not too shabby. Um, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. I don't remember if this guy reaches everywhere, this the uh, witch, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get all of this done and planted for our powder melon. Um, that's pretty easily done, like so, and like so. So these little side fields, I've kind of decided to like break it up into smaller uh, portions and and things like that as we go. I think that this is going to be a very good strategy for us. I haven't really done this before. Um, usually I'm more efficient when it comes to the farming and things, but uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good strategy overall. Um, I am gonna put down torches accordingly. Uh, on these guys, but uh, for right now, nothing too too crazy there. Uh, down here, I'm going to have another section, just like the other section over there, but it's all going to be in a straight line. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I think eight I can get away with there. That should be all right. And uh, we should also... Did I... I got everything out of here. Yeah, I need to get the the coffee beans. Ten coffee beans and get those planted before we're done here as well. So that will be good. Uh, let's grab ten of these guys. And then the rest will just be kegging, right? To get coffee as quick as possible. As that is wonderful. Um, tomorrow we'll go to Robin and we will plan on... Um, combining, like, moving this greenhouse uh, to where it's supposed to be in its final form. I think that's a good strategy as well. And then, yeah, otherwise, uh, what else did I want to do? Oh, seed maker. Yes. Okay. How are we going to pull this off? Let's grab a few fairy roses and let's drop them in here to start the seed making process which will be good. Uh, and the rest of our coffee then, these guys here, will all go into here, which will be good, like so. That gets us some coffee. That gets us some of that. Um, other than that, I do need to take a look at, make sure that we're covered. Yeah, that scarecrow covers a very good section. So I'll probably place these other ones around and then once we get our pickaxe tomorrow, I believe, right? We'll get our pickaxe tomorrow. We'll move the greenhouse, which will be fantastic. And then we should be on our way quite nicely otherwise. I should also probably get some tree fertilizer, right? Let's get some tree fertilizer before we're done for the day as well. So that is fiber and stone. Oh, yes. That's what drained all of our, like, half of our stuff. So let's get, like, five. I think I have some still, so let's grab at least these guys and this guy here so that we can kind of sort of get started over yonder. Mahogany seed, right? So, like, this guy, come here, all right? We have some mahogany seeds over here, so let's just plant that, and then we will fertilize it. We'll fertilize, apparently, the maple tree, but more importantly, these mahogany trees for them to keep growing, right, uh, throughout. All right, very good. Alrighty, it's getting late. Uh, I think it's time to pack it in. We have Linus's birthday coming up as well. But yeah, there's a lot to still get done, to say the least. So, uh, without further ado, uh, it's time to really start winter. Look at that, 8400 bucks. Not bad. I'll take that any day during winter. 
Um, so a couple of notes that I would like to explore would be things like, hey, lava eels, you know, things like that would be uh, pretty darn nice. Don't work too hard. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right. So our pickaxe should be done. We got our powder melon down, which should be ready pretty soon. And I think we can plant more fairy rose today. So um, see you all next time. Bye-bye.